Hello there guys, Raj here. I hope you guys are well. I am back with a fragrance review and if you guys know my channel, you know that one of my favorite houses is Guerlain. And they have a line called the La Elematière collection, the art and materials. This fragrance is called Tonka Imperial. Now this bottle, this one that you're looking at right here, is actually the old design, so they've recently updated the packaging. Um, I've never really liked this whole, uh, it normally comes with a bulb atomizer. This is, if you wanted to take this bit off, you could put this on and have it as a splash on. It's never really worked for me, but at the end of the day, you know, it works. It does spray out some fragrance. And uh, this whole fragrance is basically, it's centered around Tonka. Tonka bean and it is kind of a sweet fragrance but it is more than just a gourmand it has a few more layers to it it's a fragrance I've owned for quite a long time and I'm gonna give you my thoughts but before I go into um, before I go into my thoughts let's just go through the note breakdown of this one which is a 75 ml bottle um, a little bit hard to find this line actually before I go into the notes a little bit hard to find if you can't buy it online you're gonna have to go into the Guerlain boutique or some high-end um, department stores maybe not the most accessible also not the most accessible in terms of pricing they have gone up over the years I think the pricing is now something like hundred and I think it's 175 or 180 for a 75 ml so to be honest it's got to the point where it's a little bit, it's, get, it's too expensive for me anyway. Um, notes for this one. Top notes, bergamot, almond, and rosemary. In the middle, you've got jasmine, tonka bean, which is used in a lot of girl and fragrances, and vanilla as well. It's like their signature. Um, you've also got tobacco. Base notes of frankincense, cedarwood, and pine wood, which make this, uh, what I, it turns this into a, not just a, sweet gourmand fragrance but a little bit more wittier a little bit more smokier and it's actually a really interesting fragrance so when you um where would where would i wear this occasions longevity performance that kind of thing i'll start with performance because i've always had good performance with this line um i get all day it definitely jumps off your skin for the first few hours and actually is a is a fragrance that will get you noticed definitely will get you noticed um where would you wear this? Well, you know, for me it's more of a, it's a tricky one because it has sweet elements, so maybe you might not want to wear it to work depending on what you do. I sometimes have, I don't think it's too much of a problem. For me it's more of a night out fragrance, you know, maybe you're going on a date, uh, maybe you're just going out for dinner, maybe it's something um, not too formal, but you know, you're going out, eating, drinking, something like that. It kind of ha mixes in with that uh, feeling. It has a very Christmas feel to it. You know, you could wear this on Christmas Day. It would be perfect. Um, so, yeah. But to be honest, nowadays with, with fragrances, I kind of wear fragrances on lots of different occasions, but I do know the best occasions to wear them. Uh, okay, so I've talked about longevity performance, uh, where you would wear it, notes. What does it smell like? Okay. So it's quality from the start. This line, the, the ingredients that they, that they use, you can tell that they're of a really high quality. They smell smooth, uh, they blend, they are blended well, they're not jarring, everything is mixed in well. It's actually a really great example of how perfumery um, can be at its highest level. You may not love the fragrance, but you should be able to appreciate how it's put together. In the opening, it's probably where it's, it's at its sweetest. And you do get this, you know, this almond marzipan cakey kind of feeling, lots of icing sugar, um, sweet cherries, and it's maybe a little bit too much for some people. But imagine you have this uh, cake, this almond cake with icing and marzipan, and maybe you put it in the oven for a little bit and it starts to warm up and you have some roasted almonds in there as well. Giving this, uh, f uh, giving this sugary feel, sorry, turning the sugary feel and giving it a more warm cake kind of feel. But in the opening half an hour is when it's a little bit too sweet. Then you got some of the deeper notes um, coming into play where for me, I always felt it was kind of like a warm incense, like a benzoin, like a waxy, 
um, furry, something very warm and nutty like a tonka bean scent. And actually it's really nice, I have to say. I really like this combination. It doesn't transition like from one stage to another and another. It pretty much has like two phases for me. So I sprayed a little bit on about 10 minutes ago. I'm still into that sweet phase, but later on you do get this kind of, um, the tobacco is like this wet, moist, uh, fruity tobacco, but it's measured, it's nothing over the top. Um, some of these notes might sound like it could be uh, filling the room and kind of overpowering everyone and get quite annoying, but it somehow manages to be in a nice balance. You know, I do really like this fragrance. I do really like it, but it is definitely one of those that I feel I can live without. There are some fragrances from this line which I prefer over this, actually. Um, there were times when I really loved this, but the other ones in the line and other ones from Guerlain and other fragrances I have, I just prefer them a lot more now. You know, your taste can change and what was your favorite last year or last week might not be your favorite fragrance now. But it is a really good fragrance and I can definitely recognize the quality and I can definitely recommend you try this or get a sample or, you know, definitely go to this line. And when you're there, check out more of what Girl and have to offer because they have some really amazing fragrances there. Um, not ones that you're going to just spray, put your paper to your nose and be like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that's I'm getting this, this and this. You gotta take time with them. They really evolve nicely on the skin. This one doesn't sort of evolve and change too much, but there is a nice transition. So I've pretty much said what I've had to say with this fragrance. Uh, I'm gonna go with a rating of um, in between eight and a half and nine out of 10. Um, yeah, not much more to say apart from, let me know what you think, guys. What do you think about this fragrance? What do you think about this line? Too expensive, overrated, some of the best in the game. Uh, whatever you have to say, say it and uh, take care. See you soon.